So you probably bought your domain name from GoDaddy or Namecheap or something like that. So the first step that you're gonna do is you're gonna change your name server. So now you're gonna get your name servers from your hosting accounts. Um, you can either use SiteGround, that's the one I like, that's the best one for me. But most people are gonna use HostGator because that's the most popular one. So you can use either one. Uh, both of them will give you your host, your uh, name servers. The only thing is you gotta make sure that whatever whatever hosting account you used has to have a cPanel. So anyone that you sign up, you always ask them do they have a cPanel. This is where you could go in, there's a back office where you could build your website. So if you don't know what a, a hosting account is, um, the easiest way to know it is if you need, if you're gonna build a website online, you need land to put the website on. It's just like a house. You have to have a house. You got to have land. You got to have an address where people can find your house. Same thing is online. You know, your website is going to be your house. This is where people visit your house. Uh, but you're going to need land to put your house on. The land is the hosting account. You already have the domain name, which is the address so people can find your house or your, your website. So that's what your hosting account is. And when you n change over your name servers, that means that you go, you, the place that you get your uh, domain name will point to the hosting account. And that way, you, when somebody types in your domain name, they'll see your website. So I'm gonna log into my hosting account. I log in, boop. So I'm in my, my hosting account, and if you go to, I don't remember where it's set with, with HostGator, but anyway, there should be some area in there where you can find your account DNS, right? So this will be your name server. So you can point them to these name servers here. Usually it's just an NS1 and it's that, and, and then ns2 and it's that there so what you do is you'll take that and you're going to go to your godaddy account or whatever your uh, place where you bought your domain name from you're going to log in you're going to go to your account your managed domain accounts you're going to find your domain you're going to go to manage dns and this will I've, I've already added my name service to this uh, website uh, but what you're going to do is you're going to go in here and change it and you're going to have these two set to that that um, Name server I just showed you and then you hit save Let it update a few minutes and then your site will be ready to start building So once you do that you go back to your hosting account and you uh, go to your cPanel so now you're in your cPanel and this is where you can uh, get everything set up for your website now, if you this is your first time in your website, you might see something like Fantastico something. On mine, it's not there. Uh, yours may say that. Most of the newer cPanels will have WordPress installer, but you're not gonna click that right now. Well, you can go ahead and click it if this is your first time uh, making a domain but uh, or a website. But if you already have another website, all you have to do is go to add domains, which that's the way I have to go because I already have another website. So I'm just gonna do that real quick. And this is uh, creating an account, like a folder to put all my website and everything and it automatically does it. So if you look here, I've got a folder now for my uh, website. So you go back to your cPanel. Now you can actually make an email account uh, so you can use your own system and make an email account. You go here and then you select the website you just put in there. You can put support. I just leave it at 250. So you hit a create account and boom, you are in there. You got an email address now that you can use for your website. So write that down. However, take note. So you're gonna go back to your cPanel again, and now you're gonna go over to WordPress installer. And you're gonna say install now, and then you're gonna choose HTTP, I always choose that one. 
uh, the S means that you have like a, you, you got like a e-commerce store but uh, you don't need that right now you just hit this and you select the domain you just had in there and leave this blank because it'll just go to andreslater.com and they'll go right to the website and then you can name your website you could put a description what you can always change is to just put something in there I mean you can really just keep it like that for now you're gonna put some type of admin username I like to use admin you can you can use this password that they give you or you could put your own password in here and it will automatically put a admin email in here and you can change that to um, the one you just created and I like to select this some your cPanel WordPress installer type thing may not have this but that just stops people from keeping you know keep logging in it'll give them a few times to do it and then you can put a theme in here sometimes I don't do that I don't do none of the advanced options I just hit install and give it a few seconds and then you have a website okay boom your website's built and now you can go click here WP slash admin and you can go into there and put your password and get in there uh, so if you just click the website itself boom there's a website there so you can start building on it and that's remember I was telling you that's how what you put in there in my WordPress blog so I am gonna log in now first time it's gonna automatically automatically like log you in you just gotta remember that password so now you're in here um, you can get started first things I like to do uh, most most of uh, the WordPress is gonna have jetpack I like to do that because it gives you like site stats tells you how many people went to your website so I always add this you gotta have an account with wordpress.com which you can go to wordpress.com and you can create an account um, I already have an account with them so they will do all this connection for me um, I do just the free one used to say free but now they're trying to get you they're trying to trick you a little bit I just hit skip that I guess okay so boom it's on there um, just I guess hit activate uh, activating uh, recommended stuff so boom everything's pretty set up now your your stats are here so it'll start tracking that and now so you go to dashboard that takes you to your dashboard right it shows you everything you know in one glance uh, jetpack is what you just signed set up um, posts I always like to go in here and just just delete this post but it will show you how the post will look you know just like a generic post but I would delete that alright so uh, media is gonna be where you upload your media like pictures and stuff like that pages um, the difference between a post and a page a page is it doesn't change it's just one big page um, your post is what you see on a blog you know daily post or if you got a Facebook account every time you post something that's a post now you go to comments so you can these show all your comments in here um, a skip appearance for now go to plugins and I like to delete this plugin the hello dolly I don't I don't understand it too much um, this is a great great one because it keeps your website from being spam so I always activate that and you gotta set up your account with uh, a kismet or what however it's pronounced you're probably gonna send me hate mail for pronouncing it wrong but you're gonna put your API key in here and then you are gonna connect your API key and just just hit save changes so it's all it's all connected now with that and jetpacks connected and then that's the this came with my cPanel account and my um, 
my site ground that's what the SG is my hosting account so that's just an optimizer um, now you can start adding your own plugins in here and this will control some things on your site so I'm not gonna go into that on this video users you can add different users if, if people are like working on your site too I don't do that tools I, I never go here so I don't know what that is um, settings go in the settings this is where you can change your tagline this shows your work your uh, your website address your email address you can change time zone you can change your time zone I'm not in New York but that's my time zone I use and hit save changes now writing I don't never go here so you could just pass that reading this shows how many if you if you have a blog how many posts is on your first page on your pages and um, I really don't mess with that discussion I never go to discussion much and mess with that so I just keep everything media uh, this this I, I never change this either so don't worry about it permalinks you can change this if you want you can put a uh, post name hit save changes that's really about it and if you got any questions just leave it in the comments below and I'll try to answer them I'll try to figure out you know I'll try to show you how to do all this stuff I'm trying to make it not complicated because this seems overwhelming but that pretty much is your website there uh, you can go to appearance you can hit themes and then you can uh, select one of these themes that come with your um, WordPress site or you can add new themes so you can hit add new and you could just go in here and just find themes and you could preview it so you can just start building your site to look similar to you know this site here you got like a slider here um, you got this one here so they got some really nice themes in here you can like check out everything this one looks pretty good Yep, see how they got the car there. You put the picture there, put a recent post there. Has a little animation. And there's there's I mean so many different ones you can download. That's feature, popular. Uh, you can just go in here and just search all types of themes and colors and it's 2625 of them in here now. And if you even need more themes, you can go in here and put free themes for WordPress, and you should be able to find some in here too. Yep, so you got more in here that are free you can play around with. So you can make your website, you can start building your website. Uh, thank you for watching this video, and I will see you on the next video.